two messages, Hajj uh, Suleiman says, is the apology based on admission of faults? You have just pointed the faults, pointed out the fault. No, I think it is political rather than sincere. Ni nee says, how can a genuine apology claim that the DDEP and its related international cousins are an achievement where it was recklessly caused? Yes. And the manner in which it was done clearly takes a lot away from this humility. And, and to the extent that the current Minister of Finance wasn't really the architect behind this DDP and all of that, probably we can say that, well, it's good for him to say so. That is what I'm saying that we said this long ago, that probably the president should have taken, led by example, there were external factors, but of course, there were also pre-existing fiscal vulnerabilities that we brought upon ourselves. And look, something, if you go into the details and you see the extent to which we actually abused the COVID and the fiscal deficit that Ghana recorded in 2020, it was one of the highest in the whole of Africa. And Ghana couldn't recover from that excess, which took us to the 17th IMF supported program. But of course, we can also see a similar thing, something in 20, 2012, the fiscal deficit we recorded in 2012, which was also an election year, and also happened during the energy sector crisis, the fiscal deficit was, was more than 11%. Together with the current account deficit, something Ghana couldn't recover from the 2012 election excesses, which took us to the 16th IMF supported program. So you will see that across the two main political parties, um, the way we, 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 we manage our economy, and especially with the, the slightest shocks, clearly tells us that there's, we have not been able to build sufficient resilience. And a lot of the things that we have done over the years, in the last 20, 25 years or so, looking at the data, we have supported our economic resilience with more, with more propaganda. So it takes shocks of this magnitude that to actually reveal the reality. So I, I, I want to believe that um, this apology is not properly motivated. Hmm. Th that's my considered view. And, and, and also it should reflect a government position. It should reflect a party position. He's a minister of finance, so. Yeah. I don't think it reflects a government position. The reason I'm saying so is that if you, if you look at even the individuals who did the MPP who have been pushing for this, it's a clear case that this is something that should have been done or should be done, and we think it should be done. So they are pushing more for it, and I think that uh, uh, that is what I would say. And I want to believe that this doesn't... Look, if you look at more than 60% of the sufferings Ghanaians are going through right now, clearly avoidable. Clearly avoidable. Clearly avoidable. <coughs> Clearly avoidable. You can talk, and, and to the extent that we have, not been, we have not been bold enough to admit that this was self-imposed. Of course, we had external shocks. The tendency to blame everything on external shocks clearly doesn't tell me that this apology is genuine. G Gary, 